Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsty, and welcome back to Factorio, where last time we have put up um, an iron field, a coal field, an oil field, and supplied it with trains. So now, today, we want to see what we can do uh, with these things. And the first thing will be oil processing here in this area. And for that, we actually need um, to have a bit of a station for unloading, of course. Um, And then from here, we can go back onto the track. So this will be oil unloading. And we will have one train for this station. Um, I will need some some tanks here and then we will have a bit of processing there and we probably also need some hmm. How can we do this? Yeah, let's place signals there. Because we also need... A loading station. That's just too short. I think we can move this one back, right? What's the... Can we have it this way? And then have it that way. And then have it this way. Yes. And that will be for now the um, Petroleum gas loading. In the future, we will need more stations here for uh, the different other gases that that we can uh, provide there. But I think for the moment, this will actually be sufficient and for the actual processing I will need a few more materials so let me uh, gather those and uh, then we will build the oil processing up and then we can also have a look at the, at the next steps that we need to take to get where we want to go. This is the setup almost complete. We are missing one refining station up here and then probably also something uh, for the lubricant further down the line. I mean, at this point, we just can 
uh, produce uh, petroleum gas. So now let's see this train. Let's go here. Let's go there. Uh, full cargo. Empty cargo. This station probably wants to be renamed. Oil field. One train. And then copy this on that one. Make that one automatic. This one automatic. Oh, uh, all delivery, empty cargo, so... Destination full. That should not be. What happens if I do this? Nothing. Is a passing problem? Oh. Let's go to there. Why don't you want to go to this station? Ah, now it works. All right. And with this train coming in here, I hope the unloading there that that works. It does not. So what can we do? Um, oil, oil delivery. Oh, we're missing a signal there. And what we can actually do here is we can move that bit up here. Like so. Need then to have that signal there and make this oil the 
Delivering. One train. We need a signal there. And then we can have the pump here. And then we are actually unloading. Very nice. And here. Um. Maybe this should be one four, because we have one station and uh, four rating base. What are you waiting for? signals um. we need to have a signal there that one back oil delivery let's just move that train manually We can also say, okay, let's move this ahead a bit. So we can have one more piece there. There and there. And then go back to here and make that automatic and that should solve the problem can add that back in and up here oh probably should not have that on there but actually going in here and then we're producing petroleum right we have that sorted it was a bit more of a headache than I had hoped for um, So next thing is we need to figure out what we 
need all for our cliff explosives. So we will do this in, in those. And probably this is not really uh, relevant. We will not have 11 assembling machines for those. Um, but we need to be sure that we have the, the proper ingredients there. Um, let's do it that way. We move that down. Um, okay. So what we need here is the coal, the water, the petroleum and the iron ore and we need um, if I have one assembly machine here then I need two chemical furnaces there uh, so if I say 0 0.1 that's what I want then we have this picture here which should be manageable however we will have four input materials that we have to deliver and we will not have any output because the cliff explosives we don't load on a train that's just store in a chest for me to grab so Let's see if I can come up with setup uh, that actually works. And we need somewhere where we don't have any cliffs in the way and which should be close by. So either up here or down here. Um, we will have to figure that one out. And here we need the train limit of one again. All right. See you once I have figured out the difficult parts. We have this set up here now complete with an unloading station on each side of the square. And it does not take up much room. Uh, because we are not going for high volume, we are just going for volume. So what we still want to have is a bit of uh, uh, output and we need uh, then to ensure that all the things down here are properly supplied with power and that's basically the only thing that's missing. Down here we're melting the ore into iron and then into steel for our barrels uh, and here on this side with iron and coal we can uh, produce grenades and then uh, up here we have to set up for uh, sulfur uh, which takes water and petroleum and that then goes into the uh, explosives uh, which also needs a bit of coal in addition and probably we want to add this to this machinery here. So let's connect this up and see this part is working uh, for, for the steel that probably takes a bit uh, longer 
until we get the, the first year. There we have the first barrel, there we have the first grenade. And that should garner us the first um, uh, the, the first uh, cliff explosives. Yes, it's building. Nice. And we will have a few of those small setups, maybe a bit larger. Uh, maybe not just one f for one output product, but the real big factories, uh, those will be the ones for the, uh, for the uh, science packs. But I think before we can move on to, to science, uh, we should make sure we have um, the basics covered, uh, meaning uh, belts. Probably we do not need uh, to go too extreme because we are not focusing on uh, moving things along with spells. So I think uh, yellow and red belts should be uh, sufficient. We also want to have uh, inserters, uh, ideally fast inserters, but that will come later. Let's just focus on, on these ones. And for the fast inserters there, maybe let's leave some room so we can have uh, uh, advanced circuit production going on as well. But then most importantly, we need a setup where we can uh, build our all all our rail goodies uh, that we need to expand our network. And once we have all that sorted out, uh, maybe also a bit of uh, ammunition, or the ammunition could be a byproduct of the, the military science. Uh, that's probably the better call um, and I think before we then really go into the um, the mass production of science packs we should see that uh, we deal with the nests that that we have around here because now that we are actually producing more and more, also here on this side, our pollution will grow and um, eventually will touch on some of these additional nests. But all this are projects for the future. Today, we managed to get our hands on some cliff explosives and let's use those uh, up here where we have some cliffs that are not in the way of our rail but with these cliffs out of the way we can make use of this square to build something and of course when we uh, have built up uh, this uh, rail setup a few cliffs were actually in the way so uh, I can now go around remove those and uh, fill in the missing rail pieces but that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time for more Factorio until then goodbye